You know, when you go to the city to shop, messing with the traffic and the crowds, it's easy to feel that shopping stinks. Why, Clifton? Why not? Well, you know that it's going to be all right. I think it's gonna be all right. Everything will always be all right when we go shopping. Well, you know that it's going to be all right when we go shopping. Yeah, why not, Clifton? Who says you have to shop in the big cities with the big traffic when you can shop right at home or close to home in the comfort of your small town? We wouldn't choose to be anywhere else. Kim Pressure is a co-owner of Leon's Floors, a Clifton institution since 1948. Tracy Bird is with the Blossom Shop, a flower store right down the street from City Hall. And she has another reason for doing business here in this small town. We love the people in the community and we love to do things to make people in our community happy. Just talk to the people and the store owners. They love Clifton, no matter where they've been. This is small town USA. I moved from big town Houston. Dallas is not a tourist community. Ann Thompson owned an art gallery in Dallas. Now she owns a gallery in Clifton. But this is better. I feel like I can have uh, more of a voice here. Clifton has two main shopping districts, one downtown and one along Highway 6 where you can get your staples, appliances of just about any size, even big screen TVs, handmade quilts and all the supplies to make them yourself, and you can also get most of your computer needs. For food, you can treat your palate to everything from Mexican to barbecue to just plain old comfort food including a pizza that won honors at an international pizza contest made by Jim Sims. We're getting ready to make the famous baked potato pizza. It was number two in the world in 2007. We competed against 2,200 chefs in Las Vegas. There's good food in downtown too. How many cities with just over 4,000 people have really good Chinese? Downtown also has neat antique shops, flooring, flowers, video, and western wear stores, and a place that will take care of your laundry. And like any town, you'll find insurance or real estate pros ready to help you. But one Clifton Realty office has something you won't find in any other town. It doubles as an art gallery. In fact, there are four art galleries in downtown Clifton selling works that run into the thousands of dollars. Tom Paulson from Paulson Galleries is able to sell that high dollar work. We would try to get good quality artists. And those artists are not cheap. And if you think we're kidding about Clifton and art galleries, catch this. We all know places in nearly every Texas town where you can get a good hot meal. But tell us, are there any other restaurants where you can also buy western paintings or sculptures from nationally known artists? You can at the White Horse Station. And new businesses are coming all the time, like this bakery. Or Deborah Crockett's plan to reopen an old pharmacy into a soda slash coffee house. I love it when I have people come in and say, I used to work here, or I came here and got a cherry Dr. Pepper and then got on the bus to go to Fort Hood. But a diversity of business is not enough for shoppers to stream into Clifton or any other small town. There are some basic rules that these store owners know they have to follow. The service is the key. We give such good customer service one-on-one. -on -one. Be it in the floor business or in BJ's Western Wear, where you'll find Julie Conley ready to answer any customer question. They need to feel special. Which is important for Lake Whitney's Connie Poyer. Connie and her husband shop in Clifton as much as they can. Because I think it's important to the town and to have uh, keep the business within the small communities. Uh, for survival purposes. And it can pay off for the business if the customer service is really good. Folks will pay more for customer service. To me that's very important than a high school kid waiting on you that knows nothing about the products you're trying to sell. The beauty of going to a small town and is that the people are here and they're willing to help you. They want to help you and you know they want to help you find what you need. But the store owners know they can't drastically raise their prices just because they're nice to their customers. I think the prices have to be competitive. Something that is a constant battle for Clifton businesses, especially Pressure's flooring store. I don't get the prices that the big box retailers get. So because of that, 
uh, I have to be a, a lot more competitive and we have to kind of cut uh, our costs in order to come in line with that. It all comes down to pleasing the customer with diversity, service, and price. And shopping in small towns like Clifton will do a lot of good for the local economy and your own pocketbook. It is so much more important to shop with your local communities than it is to shop with uh, big box real retailers that don't seem to care about their uh, the towns that they're in. It keeps our community thriving. Your tax dollars go right back into your community and it keeps our community alive. And you have a customer right now? Yes, I do. <laughs> so go to it. All right, thank you.